The quadriceps comes from the Latin quadri, which means containing four, and seps, pertaining to the head. Therefore, quadriceps consist of four individual muscles, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedius. These muscles make up the anterior compartment of the thigh, together with sartorius and the pectineus. In addition to these, the end of the iliopsoas muscle passes into the anterior compartment. The quadriceps muscles have different origins, but converge and insert onto the patella as the common quadriceps tendon. This tendon then envelopes the patella and inserts onto the tibial tuberosity. The portion of the tendon that extends inferior to the patella is generally referred to as the patella tendon. The combined action of the quadriceps muscles is knee extension. Let's look at each of these four quadriceps muscles in a bit more detail. The rectus femoris is the only muscle of the four that passes two joints, the hip and knee joint. The rectus femoris also helps perform hip flexion. Because it originates at the anterior inferior iliac spine and ilium, superior to the acetabulum, and then it attaches all the way down to form the quadriceps tendon. The vastus lateralis has the largest volume of all the quadriceps. It originates at the greater trochanter and the lateral lip of the linear asper of the femur, and again attaches to form the quadriceps tendon. It also has some aponeuroses that actually attach to the patella itself. The vastus lateralis contributes to knee extension, but also pulls the patella laterally. The vastus medialis is the smallest of the quadriceps and originates at the medial femur near the intertrochanteric line and the medial lip of the linear aspera of the femur. The vastus medialis then forms the quadriceps tendon, but again, part of the aponeuroses also attaches onto the patella. The vastus medialis counteracts the vastus lateralis by pulling the patella medially. Finally, the vastus intermedius is behind the rectus femoris. It originates from the anterior and lateral surfaces of the femoral shaft and forms the quadriceps tendon as well. The quadriceps muscle join and form the quadriceps tendon, which again envelopes the patella, a sesamoid bone in front of the knee joint. The quadriceps tendon envelopes the patella and inserts onto the tibial tuberosity as the patella tendon. The innervation of all these muscles are by the femoral nerve, which arises from the nerve roots at the second and fourth lumbar vertebrae. The blood supply of these muscles is from the femoral artery, the medial and lateral circumflex artery, and the profunda femoris artery, which are your deep femoral branches. The function of the quadriceps muscle is to extend the knee, and as we have learned, the rectus femoris helps with hip flexion as well. Now, there are many pathologies that can involve the quadriceps as well as the patella tendon. This includes the quadriceps muscle strain, where you have a tear of the quadriceps muscle. Quadriceps muscle contusion, which is where you have direct trauma to the muscle. Quadriceps tendonitis, which is inflammation or irritation of the quadriceps tendon. Quadriceps tendon tear or rupture, where you have tear or complete tear of the quadriceps tendon. 
patella tendonitis, which is inflammation of the patella tendon, or patella tendon tear or rupture, which is where you have a tearing or complete tear, rupture of the patella tendon. Other pathologies include Oshgood schlatter disease, which is where you have tibial tuberosity avulsion, and Sinding Larsen Johansson disease, where you have inferior patella apophysis avulsion. Pain that can mimic quadriceps or patella tendon pain include Moralgia Parasthetica, where you have nerve entrapment of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. This could be from things such as ascites. Femoral nerve injury, where the nerve that innervates the quadricep muscle gets compressed, for example, causing pain around uh, the thigh. Femoral or patella fracture. Knee bursitis, which is inflammation of the bursa, which are fluid-filled sacs around the knee. Fat pad syndrome, where fat behind the patella becomes impinged, causing pain. Plica syndrome, which is essentially where you have an interarticular band that is thickened and fibrosed, and this may cause pain around the knee region. Patella femoral pain syndrome, also known as runner's knee, which is essentially a diagnosis of exclusion common in athletes. There will be a video that will look into some of these conditions in more detail, as well as their treatment. So in summary, we talked about the anatomy of the quadriceps, which consists of four muscles the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedius. We talked about the different pathologies that can arise, such as quadriceps strain and quadriceps tendon tear. Thank you for watching.